let's take a quick look at how to specify engineering products in Valley Space. To add requirements to new projects in Valley Space, you can either reuse from past specifications, or you can simply import lists of requirements from an Excel or CSV file. Then, in our native field mapping module in the Requirement Importer, you can ensure that the columns from the imported spreadsheet correspond correctly to Valley Space. Now that the requirements import was successful, we can see that parent-child relationships have already been added and the requirement text is visible. Many of these requirements have engineering values inside. We are going to use the Valley Assistant to parameterize, also known as Valify, these values so they can be linked to other project objects. This allows for automatic verification later in the project. The requirements have been valified and the engineering values are now linked. You can now begin to explore all your requirements. Let's go to the connections graph, which shows the relationship between requirements and find out which requirements are unconnected. You can double click directly into the children box and manually link the related requirements yourself. If you then need to speak to anyone in your team about requirements, then collaboration in Valley Space is easy. Just click on the speech bubbles in the Actions column of any requirement, tag the user you'd like to be notified, and submit your request. Comments are stored so that you can see the history of who said what and when. But collaboration doesn't end with your internal team. If you need to send any progress reports to other stakeholders, you can create and customize reports from the home dashboard. And there you have it, a quick two-minute summary of how to specify a product in Valley Space.